There is a big choice facing every WordPress user now, whether to use a WordPress block theme or a WordPress classic theme. On the screen, you will see a classic theme on the left and over on the right, you will see a block theme. Classic themes are incredibly simple to use normally. You just click on customize at the top here in the admin toolbar and it launches the WordPress customizer. You come in here and you can change stuff. So it's really simple. There's really no learning curve at all. You can kind of work it out without any kind of training. You can change your fonts and you have a certain amount of control to change the layout of your templates. Block themes, however, are way more confusing sometimes if you're coming to WordPress for the first time. You click on Edit Site up the top here and then you're launched into the Site Editor. You have a thing called Templates and Template Parts and you have Patterns and whoa, there's definitely a steeper learning curve. But the power of block themes is incredible once you get over the hump of the learning curve. It's just astonishing what you can produce with them. So today, my task is to try and persuade you it might be worth you taking the journey on. Get over that learning curve and start using block themes because I'm going to show you 10 amazing things you can do with block themes out the box with no plugins, completely for free. Let's get to it. Oh, sorry to interrupt, but I forgot two important things. One, there's an extra bonus one at the end of the video, which is just amazing and very exciting. So make sure you watch that one. And two, if you really want to get into block themes and you're struggling a bit, I'm running a master block themes course, live and interactive details in the description below. Right, let's get back to the video. With a block theme, you have 100% control over your posts and page layouts. Here's an example. Here's my post template on the left. Over on the right, I have the actual post itself. I'm going to edit the template, which will affect the post. Let's do something really quick and easy. I'm going to jump in here to the site editor. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to add the cover block and I'm going to use the featured image, which will pull the featured image off the post dynamically into it. I'm going to add the post title block within that. I'm going to style it so it's white here. Let's change the color of it. I'm going to delete the existing post title block up here but I could lay this post out however I like. I'm also going to make this full width like so. Let's save this now over on the left and refresh our single post. Now remember this is affecting all our posts and there's our funky new post layout. And because we edited the template, all our posts will now use that brand new single post template. Some block themes are now incorporating block styles in a big way. This is an example of how the Ollie theme uses it for the cover block. Here's the cover block and I come across to the style section here and you'll see they've built in all these block styles. With one click you can affect the background image which is something you'd normally have to do with custom CSS but now the Ollie theme builds these right into the theme for you. Here's another cool example of how they built in some styles for the query loop block to let you truncate the excerpt. You see these excerpts are pretty long on my archive page, but over on the right, the Ollie theme has these pre-built block styles that with one click, I can change the length of my excerpt with no plugin needed. The list block also has some nice block styles in Ollie, and here's my list. And you can see over on the right here, I have these different styles that I can just apply to it. Here's the check style, see the little ticks, just with one click. There's another style and there's the box style. Really simple, really easy really great. And a final example, here's some nice styles they include with the image block. You can see over on the right, I've got this nice rounded option here in block styles. It's very subtle, but it just adds this little curve onto the round edges of the image and then rounded full. Not so happy about that. But then this box one is really nice as well. It has a tiny, subtle, elegant little drop shadow in there. Creating a custom category page for each category is a breeze with the site editor. All you do is come to templates, click on the plus up here, then come down here to category, click on that. Now I'm going to choose a specific category to tailor. And there's the winter one. This is the one over on the right I want to customize. Click on that. It's going to open it up. And now I can actually come in here and customize it. Let's do something really simple. All I'm going to do is change the number of columns on this. Come to the query loop block itself, come across the right change the number of columns, click save. So now when I refresh this over on the right, we should have a two column layout as indeed we do, but there's no limitations on the design that I can do for this specific category of winter. But now we can have different layouts for different categories. Here's my winter category layout. But if I click on summer up here, you'll see my summer layout has a completely different layout. Block patterns are collections of blocks that have been pre-designed by the theme author. They can really speed up your workflow and they can also make you look like an amazing designer. This is the Ollie theme and it comes with the best block patterns 
so far in any block theme, which is why I'm showing them to you now. You can see they're all categorized down here when I create a page. Just click on patterns in the middle and here you can see some. You click on them and you can see the designs here. And then to use these, you literally just click on them and you'll see the designs come into your page. The best ones use the core blocks like Ollie. They only use the core Gutenberg blocks. Let's have a look at a few more. Here's a nice one. Just click on that, add it into the page. And you can see you can build these really cool looking pages incredibly quickly just using block pans and then you go in and edit them afterwards with your own content. They also have complete pages. So you'll see here, they actually come with some complete pages and about page here. And the designs are absolutely beautiful. Some of the best block themes now come with page templates that you can switch from the individual pages themselves. Here's another great example with the Ollie theme. Click on edit page at the top here. And you'll see if I come across to the page tab and I can go to template. Now this is built into a lot of classic themes as well, but it's nice to see this being incorporated into block themes. And I can just click page node title. That will get rid of the title and it will also get rid of any white space at the top. And now we just have our lovely hero section right flush with our navigation. The style book has to be one of my favorite features of a block theme. It lets you see all your blocks and style them right where you can see them. So there's no guessing now. So here we are in the style book. I'm going to change my headings. I'm just going to click into the style book heading itself, come across to typography. And all I'm going to do is change this to thin. I can also change my paragraph text. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to change the appearance to thin. There we go. I can also come into media up here and I can edit my image. So if I wanted to add a border to my image, which I'm going to do, add a little border. Let's click save and let's refresh the actual page over on the right. But we kind of know what it's going to look like because we've seen it in the style book. And there's my new styles instantly reflected. Creating landing pages is an absolute breeze with a block theme. All you need to do is create a special template and apply that template to a page. We have the ability with block themes to create custom templates, which I'm going to do now. Let's quickly call this landing page. There we go. I'm going to click create. And all I want to do for my landing page, because I don't want the header and the footer or any of that extraneous information, I'm going to come into the template itself and delete absolutely everything. So all I've got is an empty page and I'm going to add the group block. And I'm doing that primarily as a container and then all I'm going to do within that group block I'm going to add the post content block that will bring the post content in of my landing page when I actually go and create it so there's my template now remember that's a template that's going to be used by the page in question let's go and create a page quickly and apply that template to the page all I'm going to do on this page is add a title but that won't show because that's not in the template add the cover block again Choose an image. I want a great big image for this one. I'm going to choose the same image I've been using all day. Click on the full screen mode up here. Let's make that full width. And now let's add some big text over the top of it. Then come across to the right to template. Click on page and we're going to change this now to this new landing page template. That basically will get rid of all the header and footer information. So we should be now left with a fantastic full screen hero landing page. It's now really, really easy to create your own block themes just using the site editor and Gutenberg. Here's one I've actually created, but what's great is you can export out your designs as a brand new theme using the Create Block Theme plugin. I've got it installed here. And all you do is come to Appearance and go Create Block Theme. This is gonna export your theme out. This is the option you want, Clone 2023. That's the theme I've based this on. Then you give your theme a name. I'm gonna call it Portfolio up here. I'm actually gonna upload a screenshot as well here because you can upload your own screenshots. You can put in all your plugin information as well. Just click generate over on the left. That's going to download your theme as a brand new zip file. You can see it downloading here. Click add new theme. Let's add our brand new theme that I've just created and exported. Click choose theme. There is my new theme. Click install. Cross our fingers. Let's activate it. There's my brand new theme that I've just exported with my nice thumbnail. Click on the home page and there's my brand new design fully exported and imported into the new site. Support for custom post types comes completely out of the box with a block theme. Here is a website where I've created a custom post type of movies. I've created two movies in here, ET and Jaws. Now let's go to the site editor and create a layout for those particular custom post types. And you'll see all I need to do is come into templates in here, click on the plus new, 
and we should see now that our new single item movie template is now available without me having to do anything at all. Click onto that and I'm gonna do it for all movies and now I can lay this out however I like. Let's quickly design our custom post layout for our movies and all I'm gonna do is add the cover block again in here which is gonna be my container. I'm gonna use the featured image, I'm gonna add the post title within it and let's make this also full width and let's make it full screen. I'm actually also going to put the post excerpt in here as well, just so we can see it. Actually, let's put the post content in here. Let's get rid of this content block down here and everything else. I don't want any comments on this. So I'm going to delete all my comments. Let's remove all of those. There's my template. Let's go and check it out. Let's take a look at our movie. Here's JAWS. Let's click view. And this should call in that single post template that we just created. There we go. Beautiful. And because block themes now are fully integrated into the WordPress core, they have an inbuilt advantage really over classic themes because they have a simplified architecture. Here's an analogy to think about. It's a bit like when you watch TV, a classic theme has to bring along the TV and then also send the signal, whereas a block theme can just send the signal because the TV is part of the WordPress core. And because of that, block themes are much, much simpler to build and maintain and they're much more lightweight typically. And to show you this, I've got four themes here, two block themes, two classic themes. I've got Divi and Cadence on the classic theme side, and I've got the 2023 theme, and I've also got the Ollie theme on the block theme side. Now, I'm not saying that classic themes are necessarily slow, but what this will illustrate when I show you the actual themes is just the complexity that you have to build into a classic theme. So let's just start by looking at file size. So this is Divi. Let's look at the file size of Divi and it comes in a fairly enormous 61 megs. That's just the theme size. Let's compare that to the 2023 theme here and we come up about 2.8 megs. Even the Ollie theme here, let's look at that one and just in terms of file size. Now I know that file size doesn't determine speed, but again, that's about two megs. Let's look at cadence here and cadence which is well known to be a very fast theme, uh, but still, you know, about 9.7 megs, just in terms of file size. And that really just gives us an indication of the complexity you have to build into a classic theme to get the same sort of level of functionality you get with the block theme out of the box. Let's actually look inside them now. This is Divi, and you can see <laughs> all the stuff that's in here. I mean, it's incredible. All this style stuff and uh, loads of CSS files, loads of function stuff going on. All these files here, just to get Divi uh, to work even with cadence here you can see just the theme complexity that you have to build into a classic theme compared to if I open up a block theme I mean look how simple these are they're just incredibly simple and that's because a lot of the functionality that you normally would have had to put into a classic theme you have to pile it in there you get basically in core WordPress now so WordPress is doing the heavy lifting rather than the theme having to do the heavy lifting so a simplified theme architecture Again, I'm not saying that classic themes are necessarily slow, but they're definitely more complex to build, maintain, update, and typically block themes are really, really quick. And then this one I discovered just by accident really, but coming in WordPress 6.3 in August is support for CSS Grid. This is gonna give you more control over your grid elements and your sites. For example, your blog post layouts and your grid layouts on your sites. I expect to start with this will just be used by theme developers who'll build this functionality into your block themes, but this will give you some crazy controls over your blog layouts and your grid layouts on your sites. And I expect theme developers to roll these into their themes fairly quickly after 6.3 is released. But this is fantastic news because CSS Grid is like a supercharged Flexbox. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that interesting and useful and maybe it inspired you to start taking on the journey of using block themes. And if you do want help, links in description below, either personal training or my master block themes course or WordPress in a day. I run those courses as well. So just get in touch if you need some help. I hope you found this one useful though. If you did, if you can hit the like button down below now, it would be amazing because it really, 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 really does help spread the word of the video. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos just like this, hit that subscribe button now and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.